What's up guys, Tao here. If you're a Samsung user, you might know Samsung DeX, which is a Samsung way to provide you a full desktop experience when you connect your compatible Samsung phone to a TV, to a monitor, wire or wirelessly. So today I'll be sharing with you guys my experience. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. <laughs> Alright, for my setup, I'll be using the wire connection. So the phone is Samsung Z Fold 3 and a USB-C hub with a two USB and HDMI connection and uh, Type-C charging through and a 24-inch uh, Quad HD monitor. So in terms of wire connection, it's very, very simple. So all you need to do is plug everything together, which is HDMI to the HDMI and USB-C to the connection on the phone. So Samsung DeX should immediately recognize the connection and that should come in us. There we go. That's it. So in terms of wire connection, this is very, very straightforward. I also connect a generic keyboard and a generic mouse to it. So just give you even better experience. You don't have to do this. There is a trackpad on the phone. You can use that alone, but with optional keyboard and mouse, your experience is going to be much, much better. All right, now it's connected. And the first thing you will see is a full screen, a full scale display, which is fantastic. So the interface is very, very simple. There is the desktop here. And the bottom left, there's a all app control. So all your apps is gonna be here. And also there's a multi window here. So that's your overall view. So what's open. And the home, but home, home button here and the back. So on the top, uh, on the bottom right, so that is basic uh, controls. Now here is a keyboard volume and screenshots. Um, the one thing there isn't is a screen uh, a recording. So on the phone itself has it, but when you connect to DeX, there isn't a screen recording. So I really wish there is one so we can record the screen easily. And also there's a notification, there's a basic control here. So anything available for the DeX is going to be here. Um, the R's are quite few functions missing because that they were available um, in DeX. So here is a time and calendar. You can choose the default calendar. Now, one thing let me show you here is the settings. Now here is the Samsung DeX setting here. There is dedicated setting. So there's phone size, screen zoom, and the screen timeout, wallpaper, now display resolution. This particular monitor is Quad HD. It actually recognizes the resolution automatically and natively, which is fantastic thing to see. One thing I did notice when I connect this to a 4K monitor, uh, for some reason it only recognizes um, Full HD, so maybe it's not capable of uh, displaying full 4K scale, but um, Quad HD, I am very, very happy with it. So there are other settings. You can setting a keyboard and a mouse and S Pen. These settings are very basic, but uh, they are essential. So the overall feel is just like a full-on desktop and um, more in a way as close to a Chromebook actually maybe, since they are running on similar system. So yeah, looks great. Now, one thing I need to point out that um, if you do not want to use a keyboard or a mouse and you don't have it, or you just want to use the phone connect to screen and that's it. So there is a option for you to use the phone as a trackpad. So as soon as you connect to a different screen or TV, on the bottom left corner of the phone over here, and you will see a icon here. So once you tap on that, the trackpad is gonna come on. So this essentially allow you to use your phone as a trackpad. So you can see if you notice the cursor on the screen, uh, you can actually remove it just like a normal mouse. You can tap, you can double tap, open it. So if you right click, you can just double tap at the same time. Uh, that is for you to right click. So if you don't wanna use a keyboard, a keyboard and a mouse, so you can just use your phone as trackpad. Right, let's talk about the productivity. Uh, in my opinion, this setup is very, very good for simple productivity tasks. Um, for example, if you just want to do a simple browsing 
and on the phone itself it's tiny so once you connect to a big screen now you have a full-fledged desktop experience so now this is a simple uh, browser experience you can just do a research and google it and if you do edit a basic document if you do use the google docs now here are the experience now this is a slightly different compared to uh, your browser based for some reason a Samsung won't let you to use the browser based it will just automatically direct you to the app but that's okay so for basic editing this is more than enough and also you can see here here is the multitasking just like on the computer to make the experience even better the apps you use on a big screen are actually fully scalable so for example if you use a browser and uh, you can adjust you can adjust it uh, or you can make a full screen so this actually provides you a much much better experience now as long as the app is available for the dex mode and you should be able to use a max screen so now we go down to a entertainment purpose now this is let me just make it smaller now this is fantastic news for those um, movie watchers and the youtube watchers who spend a lot of time watching the tv series and movie or spend a lot of time on youtube now this is fantastic so you can have a full screen and also the importantly let me just play this movie so it will play copyrighted movie as long as you use this cable and here's i'm playing let me just uh, make it a little bit Let's just make it a little bit less loud. So yeah, so I'm playing the movie right now. It's from the Amazon Prime and they are copyrighted. You can see a place. Now this is fantastic news. So if you do, for example, Netflix, you should be able to because as long as you pay for it and you should be able to watch it on the big screen without any issues. Now, here is my favorite feature of the entire setup. Okay, so for example, if you are writing a document and doing a research at the same time on the big screen, um, but you want to, for example, watch a movie or play something at the background and you do not want to occupy the big screen. So on the phone, all you need to do is open the app and um, play something. Say, for example, play any movie and it will just play it without interfere on the big screen. So essentially you have two screens. Imagine your phone is like a mini computer and you connect to a big screen and you have two screens, it can work at the same time. Now, in my opinion, this is a fantastic news for those people. Uh, you wanna do a multitasking to another level. And yeah, technically you don't need a, a Chromebook. So this is essentially a Chromebook in your pocket. Well done, Samsung. All right, let's talk about the games. So in terms of the games on the phone, they are mainly designed to be played on the phone. So unless the particular game is a support um, controller or the keyboard and the mouse. So otherwise you will have a better experience to play on the phone itself. But having that said, there are certain games which is controller compatible. So I'm gonna show you. Uh, one of them is the Call of Duty, the mobile uh, mobile version on the smartphone. So the, you can't really use the keyboard to play with it. Uh, now, if you do want to use a mouse, it technically it's okay, but it's almost unplayable. So therefore, with a controller, can connect to it. So you will have a maybe slightly better experience. So in my opinion, you do have a better experience when the controller connected. Um, now, because if you do want to play on the big screen, on the phone, there's no controls. I mean, technically there is, but you can use a mouse, but that's just as better as you use this mouse. So, therefore, a controller will be useful. Now, this only works if the game supports the controller. So, just bear that in mind. Now, I have another game to show you here. Uh, now say this game here it doesn't support the controller so you can see it doesn't really do anything when I'm using the controller and if you use 
the mouse. I'm using this right now and it works. So yeah, I mean, if you really, really have to, this will work, but you won't have the best experience. So yeah, this game doesn't really support controller at all. So you're gonna have to use a mouse. So therefore the game like this, you better off just playing on the phone itself. You will have a much, much better experience when play that. Right, now let's talk about the battery life. I've been using this on full charge, 100%, and in around about an hour time, the battery drained down to up to 75%. So in my opinion, it's 25% drain within an hour. It's not bad considering the tasks I was doing. I was playing um, some videos and doing some browsing and a little bit of gaming, and also at the same time, empowering the Quad HD monitor. So in honesty, 25% an hour is not too shabby. Now you may ask, who is the Samsung DeX Function 4? So in my opinion, it's uh, particularly useful if you don't have a computer at home. And also if you do travel around quite a lot for work, so doing presentation, now you don't actually need to bring a computer with you. All you need is your compatible Samsung phone or tablet, um, connect to the projector, that's it, do the presentation, off you go. Now for home users, it's quite useful if you don't own a computer or if for some reason you don't want to buy a computer and all you need is your TV or screen and now you have a, a fully ledged Chromebook experience or the desktop experience, especially with a keyboard and mouse. So technically you have a computer at home. Now in terms of gaming, um, on, a t on, on the phone, most of them are still touch screen oriented. So it's difficult for you to use keyboard and the mouse and especially not a lot of apps is designed for that. So for that instance, a controller um, may be better as long as the apps or the games is designed to use with the controller. So otherwise, you're better off just using the phone itself. All right, that was my experience with the Samsung DeX. There are two main functions I like the most. One is the multitasking. I really, really like the fact is you can use a on a big screen at the same time use the app on the phone independently without interrupting each other. So that is fantastic. The second is it's amazing how a phone can power a Quad HD screen, a full native resolution. So Samsung did a great job for this connection. Unlike some other manufacturers, they can't even connect a full screen Apple. So yeah, um, great job Samsung for a full screen display. All right guys, this is it. Thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button and leave the comment down below if you have any. And see you guys in the next video.